Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage, and we're having our monthly tech meet. And today we're going to take a silver cloud that got towed in and failed to proceed and get it to proceed again. Nice noise, huh? Yeah. No, it chokes on. It's just a, oh, it's stuck. Okay, there's a problem. Okay, just turn it off. This should be spring loaded. See how it's starting to go down now? So you guys can see the arm on this side, right? Mm -hmm. It's sticking. We got a sticky choke. So we might as well address that right now while we have everyone here as witnesses that I didn't break the car. <laughs> I know, stop me while I'm at it. So the choke is hidden in here. I'm going to grab, get rid of these. I won't need these anymore. It runs. So like I said, inside this housing is the choke. The choke is a bimetal coil, which means it has two pieces of different metals on it. And it's round into a, a circle so that as when it's cold, it goes one direction and when it gets hot it goes the other direction because of the dissimilar metals they expand at different rates and cause it to come off. Now the choke is automatic on this car meaning when it works it does it automatically. Um, the way it heats up the, that choke is it takes heated air from the exhaust manifold and warms it up as it runs. Now, you, it doesn't take exhaust gas. That would, it would fill up a carbon so fast that it wouldn't work in, in 20 minutes almost. But it uses a tube that goes through the inside of the, that is open to outside air. This is one end right here. This is the intake. Um, and it goes down into this tube and then back out and it pulls that heated air, which is not exhaust, but heated air, and it, it, it diffuses it over that bimetal coil and makes the choke come off. So when it's cold, it should come on with a spring and, and it should be spring loaded. See how that's slow? It's, it's really not good right there. So what we're going to do... Is Ron, gonna, where's the spring on that armature? Excuse me? Where's the spring on that armature? I'll show you once I get it out. It's inside this housing. So this is the, the heated air tube. Now if you take this tube and disconnect it and it just flops around, what that means is the tube is broken. So that's a big problem because what it'll do is it won't take the heated air, it'll take air outside and suck it in. Because uh, there will be a vacuum at this port right here. Is it the same system on a shadow? Same thing on a shadow, yeah. So now we have two screws that hold this covered housing on there. <clears throat> and this is covered in asbestos, so don't eat it. Uh, the rats like to eat it. They eat the spark plug wires too, and anything plastic. Okay. So the diffuser fell out. So this heated air comes in here and it goes through this diffuser. And it's called a diffuser because what it does is it takes the heated air and spreads it out. So it goes through these holes to go around this bimetal coil. This is, your, this is spring loaded. That should snap right back right now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're, there's a gasket on here. And the gasket has this little port here. That's where the vacuum from the carburetor pulls that hot air through. And you can see there's a little port down here. It lines up with that. There's a pin on the housing here. So you get it lined up right. So that pin has to go through there and, and here. But this is the vacuum. OK, now what we'll do is we'll get the And sometimes these are pretty tight. Okay. 
And usually what causes the, the chokes to go bad is steam cleaning. That's typically the biggest problem because people will wash it down. And uh, what happens is water goes in here and creates corrosion. So let me get this thing out of here. <laughs> Notice I called it bald peen instead of what I usually call it, but I won't say that. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to pry this thing off of there. This is pretty tight. There we go. So here's your bimetal coil. Okay, it's spring loaded. And if you heat it up, I'll, I'll grab a heat gun. I'll show you guys how it works. It's always fun when you can see how it works. Uh, and you plug it in right there. Uh, power strip. All right. So this is in the cold position. So it's going to be spring loaded, holding that butterfly closed so that it chokes the engine, makes more fuel go through than air. And so what you're looking for is this little mechanism here hooks into that butterfly. There's a T. So this center shaft, when it's cold, will be uh, biased this direction. When you heat it up, it'll come off the other direction. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Come on in, guys. Here we go. You see a turn? Oh, yeah. Big time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is taking the heat from the exhaust and it's pulling the choke off because as the car warms up, you don't need as much fuel and that's how that works. So this seems pretty, pretty good right here. It does, it's a lot of times what'll happen is you can see evidence of water in there, corrosion, mm -hmm. rust on top of there. That little cavity will get water in it and it'll just rust everything here and it causes this shaft to, to seize. So what I think we have on that is just the linkages are kind of bound. So that's a good thing. We don't have to mess with this. And what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll squirt from this side and I'll let Chuck squirt the other. Can you see all the corrosion in there? See that? That white crud. We'll put a little on the shafts here. You want to do that on that side, Chuck? And you see the linkage, right? Yep. Now, squirt down there. There's a fast idle cam. Got it. This thing is really bound up. Oh, now we're starting to get there. So what this thing would do, when this is stuck, I'll take that cam back, um, it'll take a long time for the choke to come off. So when you start it up on fast idle, and you goose it, goose it, it starts loading up, chug, 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 and you put it in the gear and it wants to take off on you. Is that what, what happens? Okay. I'm just chuck it. <laughs> Did you guys like that? That was, that was pretty good, I thought. <laughs> and with the silver cloud, the brakes, when you put it in drive or reverse, and it's on fast idle, and if they're just even the slightest bit out of adjustment, it's going to take off on you and you're going to have that brown stain in the seat. That's typically what happens. So now what we do, now when I put this on, I want you guys to kind of try to orient yourself here. You see this, this slot is a, like at that angle. But if you look at this pin, it's at this angle. So what you've got to do is you've got to bias the spring as you put it on there so it matches up with that. You've been down this road, Terry? Been down. Okay. It's good. We have experience in the room. So as I'm turning it, I'm trying to find that. Oh, there it just engaged. Now you hear that? Totally different. It might be a little strong, to be honest with you now. I might just, uh, I'll show you how you adjust it. I'm going to back it off two notches. So there's an index on here. And typically, remember those clean hands? Yeah. yeah, I'm not wearing my gloves. This is right on. There's a little scribe mark here, an arrow. That's probably where it was set at the factory. So this little bolt right here, you can turn this to change the tension. Okay, so you can, to weaken it, you would go 
away from the closing, so you go to the clockwise from this position, and to strengthen it, make it stay on more, uh, you go the other direction. I'm still going to back it off a little bit because we live in Southern California and we do not usually need a lot of choke. And we saw our scribe mark, so I'm going to loosen this nut uh, slightly, and then I'm going to just back it off a little bit, if it lets me. Oh, yeah, I wanted to. So I'm going to back it off. Let's just say a notch and a half. When you say notch and a half, what do you mean? There's one scribe. There's and little was... notches here. See those script? There's oh. a scribe where it was set originally, mm -hmm. and then you have all these indexing notches. That's for reference. So I just backed it off a little bit, and then I will reinstall this by bias turning it as it goes on until I engage that butterfly and then I'll just feel that. I like the feel of that better. It's not, it may not be perfect but it's better. And that comes with experience just so you know. So what happens now is when you uh, so we got some issues down here too.